So this is the removal of Roy's pool project. And uh, we're standing here with Dennis Rodoni. Hey Dennis. Hi Paul. Hey, could you talk a little bit about this project, Dennis, and what's going on here? Sure, this is a project that's been years in the making. And uh, what we're doing here is we're removing a lot of old structure that has uh, impacted the salmon in this creek. And so we're gonna put it back to uh, more like nature would have had it. Great. And so it, uh, a lot of concrete and a lot of metal has to be removed to do that. And then there's a lot of restoration work that's gonna follow. And uh, ultimately it'll be back pretty much to what it, how it was uh, many, many years ago. And uh, we know that the fish will benefit from that. And we know that uh, the environment will benefit from that. Great. So this is Todd Steiner and Preston Brown. And we're again at the site. Todd, could you uh, talk a little bit about uh, what I'm looking at and what's going on here? Sure, we've just removed Roy's Dam, which has been here for nearly a hundred years. Wow. Impacting the salmon and preventing um, them to easily get upstream to where they want to go to spawn. So um, this is really exciting. We're repairing damage that has been done over hundreds of years, or a hundred years, and um, we're going to restore the stream back to its more natural uh, pathway and uh, enhance the, the stream for salmon survival. Oh, wow. We're standing here at the bridge, uh -huh. looking upstream. So th these will be the, the finished conditions. So right now the, the project for, for this year uh, is from this, this point down to the bridge. So there's a series of these rock weirs, which hold grade. They're basically rock steps. In between them are pools where fish can rest before they uh, travel upstream and rest before they, they get up into the, the higher section. But when you look at this, it's actually, it looks pretty steep, but it's really not. So this black line here is the finished elevation. So oh. this is all, all it is right here, a gentle slope. The existing channel is this dashed line. And so oh. we're, we're bringing it down a bit yeah. into here. And you see it just it just continues up. Yeah. And so in order to address this 25 foot elevation difference between where the dam was and had built up all this sediment over the over the decades and the bridge, we actually we have to take the creek a couple hundred feet back. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, well. So this is the first phase. And then the second phase is is a, a new a side channel. Mm -hmm. that uh, will we'll really have a split in the flow where fish can well, they were supposed to hold find water, uh, so they slow did. water in the winter. Oh. Uh, this will be a slow water, high flow channel, and this will be the, the, the main channel around oh. the side. So these, the, the number represents the ton. So a three ton rock, a two ton rock, a half ton rock. Yeah. So these are the steps that, they're, that we're building with wow. the water in between. Yeah, and so here's like a cross section where you could okay, see the I big see. the big steps. Yeah. And then all this white rock in between is a natural stream bed cobble um, stuff that is from the site and you know it gets mixed in with the uh, the bigger material. I see. Uh, but it's a mix of of really it's bigger stones and smaller stones and then stream bed cobble over un underneath and and this is a cool thing. So in the summer when the channels, when the flow is low, the flow will, will just naturally find its own flow path through oh. here. Because, you know, there's going to be a, a whole lot of natural stream bed cobbles that are going to adjust uh, themselves. And so in the winter, the whole thing will be covered in water. But in the summer, uh, we'll have a, a low flow path that'll uh -huh. naturally adjust. And so fish can, can find that 
concentrated flow and move up and move down. And mm -hmm. So these here are, are uh, clusters of boulders with native sedges yeah. uh -huh. planted in between. You see these all around in Samuel P. Taylor Park. Uh, so we want to want to mimic them here. So these add little little bits of biodiversity oh. uh, and and vegetation to the stream channel. Mm -hmm. uh, then on the edges of the stream channel are are clusters of alders represented here. Oh. These are alder trees in clusters and bunches on either side. And then a little higher up the bank we have a lot of willow, and so just hundreds and hundreds of willow dotted around in stakes and poles and cuttings that align both sides of the stream bed and, and then higher up the bank not shown here are oaks and maples and redwoods and more willows and shrubs 